Hello everyone. Goedemorgen. That's good morning in Dutch from Amsterdam. Breakfast at Hotel Amelia. We had the baguette, croissant and other types of breads. Mixed vegetables, fried potato slices, sausage and eggs. Milk, chocolate, tea of different flavors and juices. There's a coffee machine for cappuccino. There's flavored cheese, ham, turkey and other cold cuts. The hotel is so close to the airport that we can see flights landing and taking off. On an average, Amsterdam's Schiphol Airport handles 56 flights per hour. You can now see a bit of the hotel and its surroundings. We have just left the hotel. It's a 200 kilometer journey from Amsterdam to Brussels, Belgium. Amsterdam has a flat and low lying landscape. The Netherlands, in general, is characterized by its extensive polders, canals, and windmills. On this journey, you will see picturesque countryside featuring green fields, waterways, and traditional Dutch architecture. Watch that flight coming in for landing. Shooting from a moving bus, video quality is poor, but I definitely hope you enjoy this video. A brief summary as we are leaving Amsterdam. Amsterdam's history is one of transformation from a small fishing village to a global trading powerhouse. While agriculture played a role in its early history, today the city's main income source are diverse, encompassing finance, tourism, technology, logistics, creative industries and sustainability efforts. This dynamic mix of sectors continues to shape Amsterdam as a vibrant and prosperous city. Welcome to Belgium. We just entered Belgium through Flanders or Vlaanderen. It is the Dutch speaking northern portion of Belgium. Belgium has a more varied landscape compared to Netherlands. Here you'll notice a flat terrain similar to parts of the Netherlands. Flanders is known for its fertile plains, agricultural fields and charming towns. As we approach Brussels, there's a shift from rural landscapes to urban and suburban areas. Brussels, the capital of Belgium and the European Union, is a bustling metropolis. The cityscape includes iconic landmarks like the Atomium and the Grand Place, which showcase a blend of architectural styles. Both French and Dutch are widely spoken here. Brussels is known for its cultural diversity, reflecting its role as the capital of the European Union. Diplomatic buildings play a crucial role in international relations, serving as hubs for diplomatic activities, negotiations and cooperation among nations. We are driving through the diplomatic area of Brussels. Brussels is the administrative, commercial and financial heart of Belgium and the majority of services and institutions of national importance are based in the city. Here you can see the head office of the European Union. The capital city of Brussels hosts 184 embassies. Brussels is unique in that 
It is not only the seat of the Belgian government, but also of the European Commission, which is the executive wing of the European Union, to which countries accredit representatives, and of the NATO. Thus, a country can maintain up to three missions in Brussels, one to Belgium, one to EU, and one to NATO. You can see the government mint where currency is printed. This is the National Bank of Belgium. We are walking past the Brussels Central Station. walking through the streets of Brussels. In my next video, we shall see the mannequin piss and later some Belgian chocolates. If you enjoyed watching my video, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button. Thank you.